Greetings all. This is going to be a tutorial on some of the more complex uh, MIDI and audio routing in Cakewalk Sonar. I have the Platinum version, but I think this will also work with BandLab's version. Um, so some of this can be very confusing because it de depends on what order you do things in. The results can actually change depending on what order you do things in. So for example, I have a blank project right here. So I'm going to use Spiral as the example. Spiral is a generative sequencer. It generates MIDI signals, but no sound. So I'm going to add a track for Spiral, and then I'm going to set that so that it, another synthesizer will be capturing that MIDI data and then playing back. So right. I'm going to do several examples of that. Okay. So first of all, there is a way that you can go down here to the left, uh, the, uh, the synth rack, and add add a synth this way, but unless you put it in a track that's existing, it won't function properly. So you really have to do a, add a track first. Um, I'm going to right click here and insert an instrument. All right, and then I'm going to select Reactor 5. Um, and I'm going to click on Create a Folder and then split the instrument track. And that, that will give us uh, the synthesizer and at least one MIDI track that we can deal with. <clears throat> and that will help with this setup. Um, all right, so it's going to open up Reactor, and then I've already got the menu open here to add Spiral again, a generative MIDI sequencer. Okay, so again, it's it's not sending sound; it's just MIDI data. So if I if I press playback on my track, you can see that it's doing something, but you can't hear it because again, it's just generating MIDI notes and MIDI data. So um, now there is a way that you can actually. Uh, plug in one of the reactor synthesizers and work with Spiral within Reactor itself. Uh, and there's uh, several tutorials on how to do that on the on the YouTube already. So uh, this is just specifically for Cakewalk and attaching it to different uh, synthesizers. Um, so now we've we've added our generator. Now we want to add a synthesizer. So I'm going to just start with the insert instrument. And I'm just going to use the stock uh, Cakewalk TTS uh, synth here. Okay, now if I just press play, nothing happens. We don't hear anything. Um, let me pin this here, and I'll pin the other one. I'll pin reactor back up here, so that we can see that. Okay, so there's something happening, but again, there's no sound generating. And why is that? Well, we got to make sure that we go down here and we check synth properties for reactor. Okay, um, and then we want to make sure we enable MIDI output. Now we've enabled MIDI output. So now it now we know that we've enabled it. It's it's checked. Okay, and now we have to set Cakewalk TTS to accept the MIDI data from Reactor. So this is the this is the instrument track and then this is the subtrack that created the MIDI channel. So we want to set the input right here. Uh, instead of my MIDI controller, I want to set it to Reactor. And I, you could set it to one specific channel, okay? But I'm um, gonna just set it to Omni, and now we should hear something. Okay, so that's uh, the quickest and easiest way to get Spiral working with uh, an external synth. I will do that with several other uh, examples. Of course, we can do it in a different order in this case. So this time I'll add the synth first, and then I'll add the MIDI data. So. Let's do, um, let's see, we're going to add an instrument. Let's do my M1. Okay, so I'm going to open the M1 synthesizer. Again, create folder and a split the instrument track. Again, just makes it easier to f have it there so that you can plug the MIDI data into it. Okay, I'm just going to push that off to my other screen for a second so I have some space. And then I'm going to insert instrument again. Let's do transition. This is a different one. So this is another, uh, it's another MIDI generator, okay? This one, uh, I'm just going to use one of the defaults here. So this is a little free one, and these little, the, uh, it has this matrix and the cells. Uh, as these things hit the walls of the cells, it will generate a MIDI signal. You can set the notes, the tones up here. Uh, you have full control. It's really kind of cool. So it's, it's a free free utility here of transition. Uh, it's really kind of cool. All right. So again, I don't have this yet hooked up properly because again, we can see it's doing something. It's moving, um, and these are the signals it's generating. But we haven't enabled it to send the signals out. So go down to transition one here. 
enable MIDI output. Okay, so we've done that. And now we're going to go to our Korg M1 MIDI track. And we need to set the input to, to capture the data. Okay, and so there we go. Uh, different uh, aspects of capturing uh, in MIDI sequencers that are generating their own little sequences. And Spiral is really cool. Uh, there's some other ones uh, in the Reactor library, and there's other free ones out there as well, uh, different that are separate from native instruments and, and free that you can experiment with just to kind of generate some different ideas in your pieces. All right, I think I will do the vocoder as a separate video altogether uh, since it's involving both routing MIDI and audio signals. So you can tune in for that one. Bye-bye.